Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, or if it's your first time here, hi, my name is Melissa, or Missa, welcome, I'm a 32 year old beauty and cat lover from Scotland. Anyway, today as you can see with the title and the thumbnail, we have a very exciting launch, because Cosmic Brushes, which has fast become one of my very, very, very favourite indie eyeshadow palette brands, have launched a new palette. They've actually launched, no, no, they've launched one, which is the Gothic, which is what we're gonna be playing with today. That is the packaging. This is the look. They are launching a second palette, a winter themed palette, which is their usual standard size, but it's not out yet, but I do have it in my, in my grasp. I could reach over there and touch it and show you, but I'm not allowed to. But anyway, today's about the Gothic. So this is a smaller palette for them, it's a 12 pan. It looks like this and it is, I think, £22. I have a discount code with Cosmic Brushes. It is an affiliate code, so I do get commission if you use it. But if you use the, co use the code MISSA, you do get money off. So it would make this a little bit cheaper. I'm really bad at maths, so don't ask me what it would make it. But this is more expensive, I think. Someone told me because of the dual chrome and multi chromes or the shimmers in here are more special and that's why it's gone up. But also I would imagine the economy has impacted the price. I mean, who buys lower pack anymore? But yeah, if you're new around here, we are going to swatch this palette. We're gonna do this look here on my eyes, which is, by the way, 100% a Stacey Marie inspired look. I'll put up a picture here. She did this look in similar-ish colors but I wanted to only use this palette, but I wanted to recreate her look because I'm absolutely flabbergasted by it. So we're gonna do a recreation of that look, but using the colors from this palette. But anyway, I'm gonna shut up now because we would need to get to the exciting part, which is the swatches. Okay, so let's get to the swatches. I'm not, ooh, I just love swatching and I am a heavy swatcher. And if you don't like that, you're not gonna like me. But we're gonna swatch down my big bee farm and we're gonna go from there and I'm excited. Okay, are you ready? I will bother to say the shade names just because there's only 12, 12 pans. First up, we have Chosen. This is very much, what is it, a dual chrome? A multi-chrome? I never quite known. Um, It's like a green, pink. You can actually see it. I, I feel like you can see the dual chromeness there. Did I use that today? Yes, I did use that today. Then we have Phantom. The Phantom of the Opera is inside. A stunning burgundy. Then we have Serpent, which is like a much brighter, grapier, I don't know, purple. It's lovely. The absolute state I get myself into when I swatch, by the way. Then we have Powerful, which is a shim sham. It's not like a dual chrome, but it's a very pretty dark purple. I actually used a little bit of that on my lips today. I'm gonna have to use a clean finger for Immortal, which I kind of think is more of a lavender. Well, I was thinking of it as a lavender when I was using it today, but I actually think it's more like a baby pink and maybe I'm blind. Then we have Nocturnal. That would be stunning on the lips as well actually. That's a kind of more raspberry-ish toned, browny, goldy, oh purpley sexiness. The next colour is my favourite though. And if you know me you'll know why. This is called Obscure and it's like a sheer-ish toppery shade of blue, purple, pink, lavender, lilac. I've got it up the centre of my lids. Sit on my face and call me mummy. Then we have the shade Supreme, which is just a lovely, I would call it like a standard purple. You see it in a lot of palettes. I don't think this palette colour story is intensely unique but I like how well curated it is. Usually smaller palettes don't tickle my pickle. This is the shade Pale Moon but this has very dark and very light mattes and then a bunch of different shimmers so for me I can do complete looks with it. I don't have to bring in anything else. That's very pretty. That's like champagne pink loveliness. This is one of my favourite colours in the palette. This is called Lace. Oh, it's a fudgingly good swatch. Uh, it doesn't need more than twice. Then we have Alter. Come on. And then the shade Gothic, which is a black 
with spiderkles in it. I'm wearing it on my lips and I'm wearing it on my eyes. So yeah, I'm not really ever convinced about matte shades that have sparkles in them. I feel like you can see it on my lips, but I don't feel like you can see it on my eyes. So I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Anyway, that is all the swatches. So you've got your proper duo multi-chrome, I don't know which one. Uh, all of these mattes, all of these shimmers, have, I just, again, think a very well curated small palette where I do feel like there are a lot of looks you could do with this like just a smoky wing you could just put this shimmer all over the lid you could do just like these four purples here together I just feel like there is quite a few different looks with it now that I've played with it and swatched it all I'll throw up the swatches on screen that I took on my iPhone as well with the flash on because I feel like you can see it very differently like via my camera and then with my iPhone flash I feel like they do look like you can tell the difference um so you can see those as well but that is the palette swatched and my arm might be stained for the rest of my life my eyes might be stained for the rest of my life I don't know but yeah that's the swatches now we're going to jump into again doing this Stacey Marie look but with the cosmic brushes gothic palette and then of course at the end we'll have a little debrief and talk about how we feel so if you want to find about put some eyeshadow on listen to me yammer on see how they perform then let's jump into it. I'm starting off already primed with my Revlon Candid. As always, nothing else exists to me. Nothing else ever will until I literally can't find any more. I'm actually going to start off with the shade Alter, which is this dark, dark purple. It's like the second or darkest matte in here bar this one. And I'm not really including the black because it's got sparkle in it, but I've used the black and you can't really see the sparkle from it because it's one of those mattes with sparkles and I don't think they ever really work that way but I'm not complaining. I like that the sparkles aren't really showing up. Anyway, I'm going to take this and do just a chunky wee line across. I'm so glad Stacey Marie did a video on how she did this look because I'm just like, I've watched it a couple of times just to copy it and it, it really helped all the way along. And I'm also going to take that underneath. Oh, this is a cosmic brush. Ha! Uh, this is the C. B6. Their brushes are fantastic, by the way, Cosmic Brushes. Brushes. I've got one set of eye brushes. Oh, I'll put that in my eye and they are just lush. They really are good for especially like my small eyes because they're very like detail-y brushes and I just find them wonderful. I'm so excited. I ordered a nail gel lamp and gel nail polishes. So I'm going to start doing my own gels. Like, don't look at my nails right now. They're still... Uh, and I'm taking that same shade and I'm gonna start packing it on this outer part. Just on a fluffy brush. I probably should have used a packing brush, but this has worked. As you can see, I'm getting fallout, but I don't really care. I always do a dramatic eye before I do my base, so that's not a problem for me. So they are a little bit fallouty, but they're not terribly kick up -y in the pan. No. Well, this one maybe is, but the rest of the mattes that I've used aren't at all. Obviously it does annoy some people when they are very kick up and fall because you are technically losing a bit of product, but it doesn't really bother me. I never really finish eyeshadows. <laughs> this purple matte. Can we talk about it? Can we just talk about how pigmented it is? Honestly, it's very hard for me doing this video because I have seen, I have, it's sitting right there, the other palette that she's releasing, the winter themed palette. And I know that's not a spoiler because she wrote about it on her Instagram. Uh, so I, I'm looking at that and I'm like, do people need both of these palettes? No. Which one would I probably go for? Winter. But having now played with this on my eye, I'm like, I, this is the perfect little purple palette. So I'm finding it very difficult. Sylvia, my pal, was asking in our Telegram group chat if you could only get one, the gothic or the winter one that's coming out, what would you get? And I said winter, a thousand million percent winter. But as I sit here and play with this today, I'm like both. <laughs> it has to be both. And then to blend that, I went in with Phantom, which is this lovely... I hate when you can hear people phoning people in their car. 
it's so loud. Anyway, I'm using Phantom to blend round it. Gorgeous, warm, kind of mulberry, burgundy, saucy colour. I love purples. I just adore them. And this colour blends out with that darker purple beautifully, even though one's very warm, one's a lot more cool. They just work together in harmony and joy. I think I've just zoomed that in a bit more, but I'm hoping that it means my focus will be better on my camera. Anyway, wiggling this round and then I just used a little smaller brush just to make sure it's under here as well. And then I'm going in with Serpent, which is this stunning purple. And I'm just wiggling that everywhere, top, bottom, side. This is a pretty matte heavy look. I'm only using two of the shimmers, but I will say I think I'm using like the two prettiest shimmers. Technically three if we include the black, it's got shimmer in it. Patting, swiping. Honestly, as with all Cosmic Brushes palettes that I have, they just blend together so seamlessly. I don't have to put any effort in with these shadows. And then I went in with the shade Lace. I love these kind of taupey, weird, mauve purples. They've always done something for me. It's very like Huda color. I look so yellow. Is that better? I don't know. And this colour is just gonna again flop round everything. I feel like I will blend this more into my base once my base is on. But I'm just trying to obviously get my initial shape and stuff on. Bring it down the front just a pinch. Okay and then I went back in with that very first shade, that dark, dark, <laughs> dark purple called After and I tuck it here and then just dragged it up towards my brow a bit of an angle like that just take it into my brows to be honest it's why I've not got my brows done I prefer not having my brows done when I start an eyeshadow look now because I feel like I, I have more space to play with like when I fill them in it takes space away but when I don't have them filled in I've got more space is this at the same angle who knows this palette is literally so pigmented and then, I couldn't tell you what colour I went in with next. I'm going to go in with Serpent. And just kind of go on top and on both sides. Yeah, I feel like that's kind of starting to look like the other side. I honestly feel like if you love purples and you just want like a perfect little purple palette, this could be it. Okay, then I went in with Gothic, which is the black, which you'll have seen in the swatches, but you can see it's got like purple sparkles in it. I feel like when you just place it on, you do see the sparkles, like I'll give it a swatch here. So you do see the sparkles, but I feel like when you blend with a colour like this, the sparkles just kind of fall off. There's still obviously a little bit there, but I feel like it's not as sparkly. Um, And I went up centre with this and I crapped myself on the other side because it's so pigmented. Oh, potato's just getting settled in this little basket. All right, Tati. Like that, see? So I'm nervous because it is so pigmented. And then I'll go back in with a bit of Serpent and After. Just kind of mix them on my brush and just try blend a black teeny bit. It's so pigmented. <laughs> then more of that black. Sorry, I should be talking about how these perform bloody brilliantly. 10 out of 10. Zero zero complaints. If I don't think gothic, like if this was just like a purpley themed Halloween palette, I would say this is a perfect little palette. Just the word gothic throws me off a bit because I don't feel like it is very gothic-y in colour, but then again, I'm not huge on the goth scene, so maybe it is very gothic, but I was envisioning something a bit more like the glam light Chucky collection, was it from last year? with like reds and greys and blacks and stuff but yeah if I forget the word gothic I think this palette is 10 out of 10. I am just patting that black now on this outer part and a little bit down here. I do not have even eyes. It's a very intense black and I just don't think you can really see any sparkle like glitter showing through that black. I think it kind of mostly looks like I'm putting a matte black on. But I'm getting hints of little purple bits of glitter and it's very pretty. Okay, and then I just went back through with my shades that I used in the same order just to blend the black and then make sure my blending looked good. A good. Again, this is not so much about the look, but how the palette performs and I will tell you from the bottom of my heart, you will not be disappointed. <laughs> However, again, if you are on the fence, wait for the winter palette. <laughs> wait, 
trust me. I think if I had to like do some ridiculous unscientific math, I would say 50% of people will want this gothic palette and I would say 97% of people will want the winter themed palette. More of the aubergine colour, more of the serpent colour and more of lace. I'm saving this colour, if you can probably tell, for the centre. That's why I'm not using it in my blending because I want it to kind of be on its own and have its moment in the centre rather than use it in my blending. So this is when I took couldn't tell you what brush because they are completely out of order. Maybe this one. Okay, so then I took the shade Immortal. Look at this for pigment. It looks almost neon when I pack it on beside these other colours. Like, come on. No. I'm going to see if I can use this as blush in some way. I think that would be quite cool to like tie it in. Oh, and then another little cosmic brush. See, they're so tiny little blendy things and that shade Lace. Just using it down the side just to kind of blend into that lighter purple. And then now that I've used it, I'll just go in with that phantom shade and just make sure I've not pulled that lace colour too far because it's quite overpowering because it's very pigmented. And then, obviously, I took a shimmer and I took the shade Obscure, which is maybe a little bit life-changing. Mm. Like, how can I swatch it better? It's like clear blue purple, pink, shim shim, you know? And I just took it dry, actually. I was just a bit worried about going over my mat with wet, because I've got quite finicky lids. So I just went in with it dry and look at the payoff that you get. And I just wanted it to really brighten up and pop in the middle. I did kind of take it right up, so it was almost like a brow bone highlight. I'm sure you probably could use this wet, but I think when you're getting this from it dry, do you need to use it wet? Probably not. Probably not. Holy crap, it is stunning. Literally stunning. Oh, why you? <laughs> Let me clean up my fallout and then <laughs> we'll continue with the under eye because I look obviously like a clown right now that's tried to use uh, black eyeshadow as blush. I cleaned up a little bit. I am taking my P. Louise White Base. Honestly, only because Stacey Marie did this in her look even though I'm not going in with like a bright neon yellow or anything. And I actually don't think you need to do this at all for this colour scheme because I'm actually going to cover it up with a bit of a shimmer anyway. But I'm just doing it because I did it on the other eye and I want it to match. And I took more of that shimmer on the inner corner, the obscure shade. And I just thought it was a shame not to use this colour everywhere in my life. And then I use that Lilac Immortal and she pops over that white base. But I do pretty much end up covering this up. So take this all a pinch of salt, a bit of serpent beside it, just to start blending in to this outer corner. And then that first dark purple. I can't believe how pigmented these shadows are. I can. I know Cosmic brushes quality at this point and they're <laughs> They don't let you down. Price has gone up. Um, I, I mentioned it in the Sausage Telegram group and someone said, I think it's because of all the multi-chromes or duochromes in this palette. That's why the price is a bit higher. And also, I mean, life's just getting more expensive, isn't it? So it probably is more expensive to create these palettes this year. So I don't know how much the winter themed palette will be because that one is more light. I'm pretty sure she did say it was a 20 pan, right? I don't think I'm giving anything away. Um, they they used to be like 20 pounds, so I don't know how much that bigger one is gonna be. Um, and then what did I do? I took a bit of water, and I'm actually using this shade Chosen, which is a duochrome kind of greenish, pinky number. I just thought it was maybe the, the nicest one to put down here. So I pick it up on my brush and then I wet it. And I put that under here, just because I thought it was a bit of a shame I wasn't using more shimmers in this look. So I might as well throw one down here. But that is a very pretty one. I'm really packing it on because I just want the, the colour punch from it. And I'm getting it in my eyeball. Oh well. I actually took a day's holiday, by the way, today, off work, so that I could film with this palette. <laughs> That's how excited I was about it. Uh, and then, as per Stasi Marie, her look, 
I'm gonna put black in my waterline. Rimmel sent me a bunch of these scandalized pencils and I've got to say it is intensely black. Very, very nice pigment, but I think a lot of people know Rimmel for their eyeliner. Oh, okay. I am crap at tight lining. And then she's been doing this little like thing in the inner corner. It's almost like an inner corner wing, but it's not. It's like a, more like a wee blob. And I just think it looks so cool. So obviously I copied that as well with the another Rimmel one. This came as well, Wonder Ink uh, eyeliner in black. I just followed my inner corner down and then swooped it up. Just adds a little satin satin to it, doesn't it? <laughs> that ain't matching too bad. Just making sure I'm happy with this. Okay, I'm gonna go throw on my brows and my base. I'll probably end up using this palette as blush. I will probably end up smoking it out a little bit more. I've got something in my eye. But yeah, that is where we are. I think with a lash and my base and stuff on, it's just gonna look so cool. And I probably will smoke it out a wee bit more just so it's a bit more saucy. But 10 out of 10 on quality of shadows, cannot complain. I think when I saw both of these palettes together for the first time, I compared this one too much to the winter palette and also the word gothic does throw me off a tiny bit because I feel like it's not quite super gothic, but if I take the word gothic out of it, I literally adore this palette so much. So yeah, I'll be back with base on and a lash and a brow. A brow will help and then we'll debrief. So I went off, finished, well, did all my makeup to be honest, put my Shein lashes on that I adore. Lips are a black eyeliner and then I went on top with the gothic shade. So this one, so you can probably see a wee bit of sparkle and also I did a bit of this shimmer in the center and then went over the top again with this just to make it more black but have a bit more of a purple thing. Jane, I know you're gonna love this lip. I'm finished with this, with my makeup. I've taken my pictures. I hope they came out nice and by the way I know you can see my hair extensions. I don't care. I need to wash my hair. Okay so like I said when I first saw this palette, like when I first opened it, when I had gothic in my head, it, this is not what I envisioned and I was like 5 out of 10. I don't think it's a gothic palette. I will say I was heavily comparing it though to the other palette that they also sent me at the very same time. However, having played with it, I adore this palette. I think if you just want a little palette with some stunning purples in it from very very dark ones to nice light ones to actually blend with with some stunning beautiful shimmers in between then this could be the palette for you very travel friendly very light very portable i think i'm gonna give it 9 out of 10 I still feel like it's not gothic gothic but it is a stunning palette if i take away the gothic name I'm in love with it. I love the quality, the blendability, the shimmers, the mattes, they all blew my socks off but it's honestly, it's kind of like when Beauty Bay launch a new palette or Blend Bunny, like cosmic brushes, they just don't seem to ever let me down. I just, I always tend to love the formula so I never end up giving it a bad review because the formula is always the tits even if the colour story or the theme isn't quite my thing. So again, this is I think £22, you can use my code, affiliate code, to get money off. So it is more expensive for especially a £12, but personally for me, I think, is it worth it? Yes, I do, I absolutely do. But if you are thinking to yourself, I can only get one of the palettes from Cosmic Brushes, because I think the other one launches at the end of next month, I would hold out, I would wait and see them both because I think when you see the other one, it might sway which one you're gonna buy. That's just me. As always, it's just a preference thing. Do you adore it? Then get it. You're not gonna be let down by the quality, but if you're maybe thinking, mm, I can only get one, it's coming up to Christmas, then maybe wait and see the other one because I think you might be flabbergasted. I'm, I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it right now. But anyway, that's gonna be all for me today. Thank you for joining me. Please do leave me a comment down below. Are you gonna get it? Are you not? Are you going to hold out and wait for the other one? Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, what's the other one? Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm, I'm going to film with the winter palette probably this week, but then have to hold on to the video for so long and that's going to kill me, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to piss off. Thank you for joining me and I hope I'll catch you all on the flip side. Bye!